You are looking live at Launchpad 6 at Site 31 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, where a Soyuz 2.1A booster stands fully fueled, ready for launch, to send an American astronaut, Laurel O'Hara, and two Roscosmos cosmonauts, Oleg Kononenko and Nikolai Chub, on a quick two-orbit journey to reach their destination, the International Space Station. And here is uh, the uh, video of this morning's activities uh, down in Baikonur. The uh, traditional uh, day began for the crew members as they were awakened at the Cosmonaut Hotel crew quarters in Baikonur to uh, traditional farewell music. The crew departed the hotel and boarded uh, a bus for their 40-minute ride to the integration and suit-up facility at Building 254 inside the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Good luck, guys. Good luck, guys. We love you. Wave your hands. I hope you had a good night's sleep, everyone. Yes, uh, we had a good night's sleep. Guys, it's not a very easy task that you have. Nikolai, it is your first flight that I know, I'm sure, that you will do everything of fine and everything will be as it should be. And uh, please send our warmest regards to the crew that is on the station together with our American colleagues. Um, I wish the capsule was big enough for all of us to go with you. Um, but it's a little small for that, but our hearts will be with you. We'll be watching and uh, we'll be here when we get back. Chairman of the State Committee, uh, the Soyuz crew is ready for uh, the mission. Goodbye, everyone.
Strapped into their seats in the descent module of the Soyuz as are NASA's Laurel O'Hara, along with Oleg Kononenko and Nikolai Chub of Roscosmos. And as mentioned earlier, Kononenko as Soyuz commander is in the center seat of the MS-24. Chub is to his left. O'Hara is seated to his right. Now a view of the crew inside uh, the MS-24. At the top of your screen, Nikolai Chub, board engineer number one. There's Oleg Kononenko at the bottom of your screen, about to embark on the fifth flight of his career. Vehicle on internal power. Copy. There goes the first umbilical retraction. The second umbilical will retract in just a few seconds to initiate engine start sequence. T minus 20 seconds. We have engine sequence start. We have engine ignition. Second tower separation. Three. Two, one, bomb set flight speed, and lift off. Okara, Kononenko, and Chu begin a short duration journey for a long duration mission on the International Space Station. All vehicle parameters are normal. 23 seconds into the flight. Good roll pitch and yaw program. Engine performance on the first stage nominal. L plus 30 seconds. Light is nominal. 40 seconds into the flight. Structural parameters are normal. Engine parameters reported from the blockhouse in Baikonur all to be within limits and normal. One minute, five seconds into the flight. Roll speech, you are nominal. All the uh, vehicle parameters are normal. Good reports coming in from the blockhouse in Baikonur. The vehicle arcing out to the northeast from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Ninety seconds into the flight. L plus 90 seconds. First Good engine stage, performance engine being reported. 184608. C off nominal pressure in case of 1500. Copy. Coming up on uh, first stage shutdown. And we have first stage separation. Launch tower jettison reported. Everything in good shape. First stage separation. Two minutes, confirmed. 12 seconds into the flight. KSO is back to nominal 980. Copy. The vehicle now uh, operating on its second stage engines. All parameters are normal. Good structural uh, performance by the vehicle. Launch shroud jettison now reported. In this view now from a camera on the upper stage of the Soyuz 2.18 booster. We confirm jettison of the steering. Two minutes, 50 seconds into the flight. A little over uh, six minutes of powered flight remaining. Second stage separation confirmed. Copy, Second stage command. separation confirmed. That's the skirt for the third stage you saw being jettisoned. 
Five minutes, 15 seconds into the flight, about three and a half minutes of powered flight remaining. And uh, the program uh, has been activated and the solar arrays and navigational antennas are now confirmed to have been deployed. A perfect ride to orbit for Laurel O'Hara, Ali Kononenko and Nikolai Chub. The Soyuz and the International Space Station now flying over southern Morocco. Uh, expect the final approach mode transition. Range is 230. Uh, 025 is uh, range rate. We see the uh, course mode uh, final approach. Yes, we uh, see the fly round. MRM-1 is in the OSK center. Range uh, is 225, and 0.135 is range rate. Antares, uh, could you please expand the video uh, so it covers the entire screen? OK, copy. Uh, expanding the uh, video. Uh, range is 140, is the uh, final approach uh, 0. Decimal 9, copy. We're seeing the video. Anton, what was your um, what was your request about the video about the picture? The Soyuz uh, and the International Space Station heading into an orbital sunset, and this view now from the external video camera, the engineering camera on the outside of the Soyuz, showing uh, the station and the docking port on the Rosviet module, 118 kilo uh, meters separating the two vehicles, closing at a rate of 0.6 meters per second. Less than 100 meters now separating the two vehicles. Um, the cupola module is right beneath us. Or above us. The CORS system will uh, guide the Soyuz forward docking probe into perfect alignment with the docking target on the Rosviet module on the Earth facing right. side of the uh, Russian segment nine, of the station. Uh, zero meters. 0.47 is range rate. Copy. We see uh, the crosshairs. Copy. Range is uh, 70, 70, zero decimal three is range rate. Uh, we have the crosshairs aligned. Uh, so it's in the center. Copy. Range is 35, zero decimal one four uh, range rate. Copy. We see solar array panels. Yes, it's already floating into our window view. The station is so large and we see it. Everything is nominal. 53.32, we con contact confirmed, docking confirmed at 1.53 p.m. Central Time, 2.53 p.m. Eastern Time, as the station and Soyuz flew 260 miles over Ukraine, south of Kyiv. Uh, work for page 56. A flawless launch to docking scenario for Laurel O'Hara, Ali Kononenko, and Nikolai Chub. O'Hara and Chub arriving at the station for the first time. 
Konin Yanko an old hat at this. This is his fifth flight into space. It was dead perfect from launch to docking, docking occurring at 1.53 p.m. Central Time. Section 1 and 2. Copy. This is Mission Control Houston. Once again, uh, we're in the final phase of the uh, leak checks and pressure checks on the Soyuz side of the docking interface at the Rosviet module of the International Space Station. A good view right there of the Soyuz MS-23 spacecraft, that or 24 spacecraft, I should say, that arrived at the station uh, with docking at uh, 1.53 p.m. Central Time, 2.53 p.m. Eastern. Opening. I have uh, released it. Opening the hatch. And uh, the Soyuz hatch is now open. Oh, have you been waiting for us for so long? It can't. It can't be. It can't be. Doctor Gibo, just finish it in a minute. Uh, we're going to let the first timers in. Okay, uh, hatch is open. We see the hatch is open being simultaneously. So should we translate in the station? Yes, go ahead. The Soyuz hatch opened at 4.16 p.m. Central okay, Time, 5.16 um, Eastern. Close it, but leave it a little bit ajar and then complete all our steps. Just uh, turn off the flex. Uh, uh, line. Uh, Those Soyuz systems uh, that uh, will be in a caretaker state while the spacecraft is linked to the International Space Station will be deactivated later this evening. Laurel O'Hara on board the International Space Station. Followed by Nikolai Chub. Ali Kononenko uh, following the two first time flyers into the International Space Station. And uh, the population of the station has now grown to 10. You're looking at Dmitry Patelin in the foreground, along with Frank Rubio on the left, Sergei Prokopiev in the back. Those three. Uh, will begin a handover period with O'Hara, Chub, and Kononenko en route to their return to Earth on September 27th. In the back row uh, from left to right, Andy Mogensen, Frank Rubio, Dmitry Patelin, Jasmine Mogbelli, and Satoshi Furukawa. Konstantin Borisov uh, on the left in the front row, along with uh, Nikolai Chub, Sergei Prokopiev, Ali Kononenko, and in the far right and the front row, Laurel O'Hara. Guys, how do you copy? Vladimir Vasilyevich, uh, hello. Once again, good evening. We copy you loud and clear. I'm so happy that you have reached the station. It's a wonderful, uh, good-looking crew. So for those who are first-timers, my best wishes to you. Uh, work, do whatever you w need to do on the station, and everything will be fine, I'm sure. I'm giving the mic to Dmitry Kalashnikov. He would like to say a few words. Uh, he is the main uh, person who solves all the issues. Uh, so Dmitry will talk to you. Thank you, Vladimir Alexeyevich, so much for your kind words. So now you have uh, added crew, 
So all the control team is happy that you are on board the station. And we wish you all the very best, a very efficient work on the station. And those who are to prepare for the landing, we are expecting you on the ground very soon. <laughs> we are ready, actually, we are all ready long ago. <laughs> yes, we know that. Dmitry Alexeyevich, thank you so much. Once again, my congratulations. Uh, good luck to you all. And all the very best from all of us. Thank you. Maybe Nikolai will say a few words. I would like to greet uh, all the uh, ground control team. Uh, I knew many of uh, those people who are on console. I worked with them uh, on shifts. So thank you so much. Uh, our thanks from space now to you. Nikolai, you know our work from inside out, so to say. I think we will have full cooperation with you while you're on board. Thank you so much for everything from Laurel. Okay, now our guests here will talk to you. Laurel and Nikolai, enjoy settling into your new home. Привет, Alex, welcome back. Hello, I can see you. I'm happy to see you. Всем привет. So excited to follow along with your mission. Greetings to everyone. Congratulations. Hi, ISFU, and all of the ground teams around the world that enabled this extraordinary event. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. We are happy for everyone. <laughs> Congratulations, everyone, with your arrival on board the station. And of course, we wish the crew who uh, is preparing to go to back to the ground, we wish you all the very best uh, and very successful return. Thank you so much. Yes, we will see them off very soon. They are ready. All of Houston is uh, wishing you a very pleasant evening. Pretty exciting with three turtles up there now. It's a, it's a bail once again. So enjoy your overlap and have an incredible time up there with your crew. Enjoy your overlap and have an incredible time up there with your crew. We're loving seeing all those smiles up there. We're loving seeing all those smiles up there. Yeah, th thank you. Uh, it's incredible to be here. It was a beautiful launch. It was a beautiful flight. Uh, the only thing better than seeing the Earth for the first time and seeing Space Station for the first time was coming through the hatch and seeing all these guys here. So thank you. Say hello. <laughs> <laughs> just, just in peace. <laughs> hey, Jessica, thanks so much. And it is absolutely awesome to have all these turtles up here. Uh, thank you to the NASA team and the Roscosmos team for uh, getting Soyuz 70 uh, up here with us. And uh, we look forward to spending the next week showing them around. And uh, we know they're going to have a fantastic mission. excited faces here in Houston, in the visitor's room, watching as well, and sending all their support and love. Have a great evening, guys. Thank you so much.